everyone and welcome back to Art with Miss Choate, Sunday in the studio. I hope you've been having a good weekend and I hope you were able to follow along with yesterday's Saturday video. Uh, if you haven't though, check it out after this one. And so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be doing a gratitude tree. And I wanted to do something that could be good for all ages, that could be good to do with a family, with a partner, by yourself, or maybe you just use this time to reflect. So what you're gonna do, you can either go outside, gather some branches, if you already have some branches or twigs in your house, and we're gonna be making a tree. Now we could be putting these twigs into a vase, or you could be putting them onto a window. We'll talk a little bit more about that. And we're gonna be making little tags of kind of what we're grateful for, positive things in our life, because I know being stuck in our house, it can get a little, a, a little sad and a little uneasy. And we, I think we all need to, sometimes I need to take a moment and be like, what is going really well? What, you know, what am I happy for? What am I grateful for? So if this is something that's interesting, let's get started. So for our gratitude tree, we're going to need a couple of things. We're going to need a twig or a branch or if you have some fake like artificial flowers or whatnot in your house, those will work too. Anything that we can then stick into a vase and have our leaves hanging off of them. So you're gonna need this. You're gonna need either glue or string. If you don't have some string, you can take glue and I'll show you how to do that or we can punch a hole and put a piece of string. So I like to use our art from earlier in the week. The crayon resist one really spoke to me. But if you want to create a new painting or a new drawing, or if you have colored paper that you can cut out, uh, remember our bookmark one, you, maybe you didn't like it as a bookmark, we could use this, or anything you have around the house. I'm going to use my crayon resist. And this is great practice for using scissors. Remember to remind if you're doing this with younger students, you know, the bigger holes where more of your fingers go, the little holes where your one thumb goes. And make sure that when, if your child is holding your scissors wrong, correct it. Okay, it's, it's easy to let it go. Try to correct it. And we're going to be cutting out leaves. Now you could draw them on first, or you could just let it go freehand. It's up to you. It's up to your the student, whoever's making these. And I like to do them all different sorts of sizes, shapes. Maybe we have one go long. And that's why I don't like to draw it. I kind of like to let the paper dictate how I'm doing it. And I like to use all the area. So once we have our leaves cut out, you can do as many as you want. We're gonna be taking a pen, whatever, and we're going to be practicing our typography or writing. So depending on the age of the person doing this, maybe it's just practicing writing in simple words, or maybe we go into cursive or the calligraphy that we practiced in that earlier video. So things I'm grateful for, I've already done a couple. I did some block letter with Pepper, cursive my family. I'm gonna put art. Remember with the calligraphy, we'd have the thick and the thin lines. And the great thing about this is if you end up not liking one of your tags, it's so easy, just redo it. Kind of like to mix up my typography sometimes. And when I do block letters, I start by thinking about the first shape, which would be the up, and then I go down and I 
So you do the how the shape actually starts, but leaving yourself some room. And I kind of like when it looks a little bit more loose. Oh, I'm running out of room for my S. There we go. And I could shade that in. So now we're going to be going to attaching them. If you don't have any um, string or thread, you can simply take your glue stick or bottle glue, put a good amount there, and then we're going to wrap it around. So if you don't have string, I recommend you give yourself enough paper that you can fold it back onto itself. The glue doesn't really like to stick to the branch, but it definitely can stick to itself. So I personally really like doing it this way. And be thoughtful about where you're putting them on the branch. Think about when you're going to attach it or put it into a vase. Oopsies. And think about like from all angles, if you're putting it on your table, you don't want them all facing one way. And speaking of, you could make them double-sided. You could go put, oops, that would have to be the other way. Put one that way, so that way it's good from both sides. I think I'm gonna do that here. I like that idea. So make sure you're doing leaves with points either at both ends or we're thinking about that. Trial and error, you know, I make mistakes too and that's okay. Yeah, I'll put this one here. Mm -hmm. I'm liking how this is looking now. You might want to give yourself more glue on this than less so they really stick down to each other. Make sure you're pressing long enough. And then, you know what? And remember, be creative. I'm just going to punch this through this top branch. There we go. Look at that. And here's my gratitude tree. Now, obviously, you can fill it up more. You could have more twigs. But just have fun with it. And be thoughtful. Take this time to reflect. Maybe you want to sit by yourself. Maybe you want to do this as a family around the dinner table. It's up to you. So I hope you had fun making our little gratitude tree, having fun cutting out those you know, scraps of paper, writing down our ideas, practicing some typography, and really exploring the areas that we're happy in our lives. So I hope you had fun and join us tomorrow, Monday, for Art with Miss Trout. And remember, like always, like, comment, subscribe. I really appreciate it. I love hearing feedback. I love seeing the shout outs on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. So please keep it up. I, it really makes me happy and makes me know that you guys are enjoying these and following along. So please continue to do that and have a wonderful rest of your Sunday. Bye.